Hello everybody, welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Ben Yunis. I bless the Lord for this opportunity that is giving me right this moment to come in front of you and talk with you about an experience that I went through last year. So that was September 16, 2021. I went through a near dead experience. So the things that the Lord revealed to me are very different things because like so many people when they die or when they when they cross over when they they go through such experiences they see uh, heaven they see hell but what the lord revealed to me was completely different and there was uh, a whole complete different lesson that god wanted to teach to me and he asked me to share it with you so these are the things i've never knew before but the Lord allowed me to, to, to go through this experience just to get the knowledge that I needed for my spiritual walk with God and especially for the spiritual warfare. So before we even uh, start this testimony, I would like to take a, a few minutes to pray for you who are watching this video and to pray for myself so the Holy Spirit can fill this atmosphere and so Jesus Christ can glorify himself through this testimony. Father God, I bless you for this opportunity that you are giving to me to come in front of your people. I bless your name, O oh Lord Jesus, because you are God and God alone. Lord, I recommend this moment within your holy hands. I pray, O oh Father God, that you talk to us, you speak to us through this experience of mine. Lord, I pray that you fill me with your Holy Spirit and you fill each and every of your children who will be connected to watch this video with your Holy Spirit. And I pray that your Holy Spirit work in miracles and wonders in each and everyone's life. Hallelujah. Oh Lord Jesus Christ, I take authority to rebuke all evil spirits, anything that doesn't that doesn't uh, stand on the truth of God in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Father God, I pray, O oh Lord, that around this time, let your Holy Spirit glorify Jesus Christ within everything that will be said in here. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, I pray. Amen. 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 So I'm coming back to my testimony. I'll start from the, the first beginning how everything started because you need to know something. Uh, there are signs, there are things that happens around us. Those are, um, those are the signs that God is giving us about something happening in the spiritual realm. So first of all, my husband had a dream where I drowned in the water. So there was like a flood, there was a flood and I drowned in the water and he wa I was calling for his help. I was asking him to, to come and help me, but he couldn't help me because in that dream he found himself in a position where he didn't know how to swim. So he couldn't get in the waters to get me in the river. And... I myself had another dream around that time. I just don't remember the dream, but I also had like a, a strange, a really strange dream. And so we got together with my husband in prayer. We started praying, asking God to just to hold us, to, to keep us safe from anything, anything bad that could happen. So on the very same week, on the very same week, um, I was driving my car. My car was uh, very, very good in such a good condition. My car died. So we thought that was the battery or something like that. But the problem was really major. We, 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 we tried to fix the car, but nothing worked. So nothing worked. And I took my husband's car to go to work. And that car... Um, 
I don't know, the battery died again. So I was really um, asking myself, what's going on? How come everything around me is dying? You know what I'm saying? Uh, so I asked myself, I was like, well, this car was, was good. Mine was broken, but my husband's car was good. And I took it to work. And when I arrived to work, everything was fine. But by the time I wanted to get back home, the car wouldn't start. So that, that concerned me. I was really concerned about, um, what was going on there so i was like god what is going on how come everything is dying around me like my car was broken took my husband's car my husband's car uh broke again so what is going on i couldn't understand what was going on and then when um i was also having some issues at work i was having a lot of issues at work and there was just a lot going on it, at the at the same time at the same time a lot was going on so when we uh we reached or we when we reached september 16 i prepared my kids to go to school in the morning my husband went to work and i went back to bed to sleep around that moment something happened to me so i really want you to open your eyes um about this um about this that i'm gonna talk right now just open your eyes because just like i say in the beginning these are the things most of us do not know maybe you you did know about this but i never knew about this because this is a revelation about witchcraft black magic in uh our families around us that was the, the main purpose that God allowed me to go through this experience so he can teach me something that happens uh, when you have people practicing witchcraft near you, when, when uh, people want you dead, but not God, you know. So I went to bed uh, to sleep. That was around um, 9 a.m. That was around 9 a.m. And by that time, my beloved brothers and sisters. So somebody rang at my door. I had to go uh, respond, but now I'm back. So I was saying, as I was saying, um, about that time, I, my, my, my children went to school and I went to bed to sleep. And I was having a dream. So it wasn't a dream, but I was sleeping. But... I could see what was happening there, although I was sleeping. So I know spiritual, like people who are spiritual are really going to understand what I was going through. Some people would say a sleep paralysis. Uh, I don't know, but I could see everything that was going on there. But I believe that wasn't in the, in the, the physical world. So it was, um, in the other dimension on the other dimension what i was seeing uh I, be, I i was seeing three of my family members which i know very well very well i saw three of them in my house they were looking everywhere they were opening the the cabinets they were opening uh, drawers they were opening um, my fridges, they were opening anything in the house that can be open. So they were opening and they were looking for something. But I didn't know what, what, uh, what were they looking for. So right there in my sleep, I was trying to like to come out of it. So to, to wake up to see if I was uh, dreaming or that was real because it felt really really um vivid that was vivid it was like something that was happening right that moment but i couldn't wake up i couldn't wake up i was still conscious um all my senses like all i could hear see was um getting really really stronger stronger everything was like um more than what we can feel in the in our bodies all our 
our senses like our um all our senses you could hear very well see very well but i just couldn't wake up and see like if what i was seeing in my vision was a dream a vision or it was reality but i couldn't wake up and about that time i saw one of the people who was searching in my house now there were three people two female and one male both of them my family member yeah my family members so the male had a gun so he pointed a gun where i was sleeping and i was very weak i was very weak about that moment so i couldn't run away i did all i could to run away but um i couldn't so i was like frozen i couldn't wake up i couldn't do anything i was just there lying down so that family member the the, the male one shot me so he shot me at my left leg he shot me again in my heart and he shot me on my head and about that time i didn't know um that i was dead so i am going to explain everything clearly after after um relating to you after just uh, telling you this story and then i'll share every single thing and what the lord uh, taught me about this whole experience so he shot me but i was very surprised to to know that i wasn't i wasn't dead you know just the way i was lying down i could see my blood my blood um flow my blood my blood was uh flowing i could see the blood but and i also felt the heat something was very hot you know the the sh the, the gunshot was very hot in my body but all of a sudden i couldn't feel the pain i couldn't feel the pain I was like, oh my God, how can this happen? Then I was talking to myself. I was saying, how can this happen? But how come I got shot, but I'm not dead. I'm still talking. I thought I was dead. And I was saying, look at the blood. Look at the blood, but how come I'm not dead? This shot was vicious. How come I'm not dead? So I was saying that, not knowing that I was already dead. So my body was dead, but... My soul wasn't dead because the soul never dies. Your soul will never die. So, and I didn't even know that I was already dead. No, I didn't know I was dead. So I just came, I stood up. But because um, I was in the spiritual realm, because the, the spiritual realm uh, comes first, like comes before anything um in the material world in the physical world so the time is in advance in the spiritual realm that's the first lesson that i got from from this experience so where i was at i could see the things to come in few hours or in few minutes uh, i was uh, i was able i was able to see the things that that would happen in the next in the next hours or in the next um, minutes so I was standing there not knowing that I was uh, I was already dead I was just standing there and I was looking at everything yeah I was looking at everything like I'm looking at everything everything seems really um, strange like I heard people crying I heard people crying but know that by that time i was all alone in my bedroom so everything i was hearing was the things to come after a few hours on on the earth i mean on earth because i was already in the spiritual my 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 soul separated with my body so i saw my husband coming from work and he found me dead I was laid down and my husband was crying in the dream. Like, I mean, not in the dream, 
I would say dream all the time because you know, but it wasn't in the dream. So I saw my husband like crying, crying, and then he was saying, "Wake up, honey, wake up! I cannot live without you." I f I really felt the pain, like of my 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 children that I left behind, my husband. I really felt the pain and how I saw my husband like crying, how I saw my husband sobbing. So I stood there and I saw my husband calling the, the paramedics. So they arrived at the site, they declared me dead because they, they ran they ran a test on my my body that was lying there. They took um a cotton swab they put it in my nose or in my mouth and the blood was already um gray the blood wasn't red at all the blood was gray then my i mean my uh, like a knowledge came to me so i was like oh my god this is dead so where i'm at right now i'm not in i'm not on earth like where I'm at now, I'm on the other dimension. So that's why as my husband was crying, I was coming to him to tell him, Oh, uh, I'm here. Why are you crying? But he couldn't see me. He couldn't see me. He kept on crying and sobbing. So he was just crying. And when I, I noticed or when I got the knowledge that I was uh, I wasn't anymore in the physical world. By that time, everything went far away. Like everything moved away. So the, the hearing sense I had, the vision, and uh, so everything that I could see in this world went far away from me. Like, I don't know how to explain in English. Um, for those of you who are watching, I'm French speaking. Uh, um, French is my first language. So like most words I know are in French and I can't just find them easily in English. So I'm doing my best to share this experience, but I'll try. So all the, all my, 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 all my senses, my, I mean, my physical senses, like to, to see what was happening in the world, to hear what was happening in the world was going far away from me in like, in, in seconds, like, that image just disappeared. It's disappeared. Everything that I told you, I was seeing the things that uh, would come in few hours disappeared. I couldn't see anything. I had, um, I, I just couldn't see anything uh, on earth. So then I understood that I was no more on earth. So I was saying in my heart, oh my God. This is how that feels because, um, I just heard people say, um, I died. I went and came back. I was like, man, death doesn't exist. That, that was the first thing, my, my first impression. I was like, Oh, like so many people would think when you die, that, um, they bury you. That's it. It's the end of life. No. What I learned that day was a human being is an eternal being, is an eternal being. And that body that carries a soul can die. Yeah, can die. But the real you, the real me is my soul and the soul will never die, will never die. So I was standing there and my first thought was, oh, my husband couldn't deliver me from dead. He's always there, like, he's always there supporting me, like, he supports me, he does everything to come to my help in this world. He is such a blessing for my life. But, in the other dimension, like, on the other side, he couldn't deliver me from death. He couldn't. And I felt so powerless myself because I couldn't deliver myself. I couldn't deliver myself. So I was standing there and I just didn't know where to go. I didn't know uh, which way to take. 
because the, the, the first thing I noticed was your own will doesn't apply there. It's the will of God. It's God who decides where you're going. So it's not you. It's not like you, you, you get there and then you just stand up and, and walk and you just walk away where you want to go. So it's nothing like this world. You see what I'm trying to say? Because when I wake up in the morning, I know I'm going to take a shower. I'm going to shower my children, send them to school. I have this and this. It's my own will that applies in my life. But in this specific experience, my will wasn't applied in um, that place my soul was. So I had to wait for the higher power to decide where I was going. So I just stood there, but I had my memory with me. I had um, my knowledge, everybody I knew that was in my head. So I was... I was having, um, my, my heart was sore. I was having a pain because my kids were very little. They are really little. So I was like, oh my God, how can this happen to me? Who's going to raise my children? Who's going to stay with my husband? So around that time, uh, I wasn't thinking first at my destiny. I was thinking first um, at the people that are left behind. But within a few seconds, I felt all the pain leave my heart. I, I didn't have any pain anymore. So around that time, I was thinking about my eternity. Where was I going? I was standing there waiting for the will of God. Like... Oh my God. And I was praying. Now I kneel down. I was praying. I was praying for myself. I was like, Oh Lord, I pray that you allow me to be on your side, to be with you, not to go to hell. So I was praying hard for my destiny. I was praying for uh, where I was going. I was just praying and praying and praying and praying. So all this experience took almost uh, five hours. Just like I say, it started at 9 a.m. And I was supposed to pray with uh, this support group of ladies we pray with. So they were calling me. I'm, I'm, I'm talking about this just so you know. There were some people who knew something was, um, something strange was going on. So they were praying with me. I mean, they were supposed to pray with me. So they've been, they, they, they were now trying to call me. They were now trying to call me at 12 o'clock, but I wasn't picking up the phone. They called, they called, they texted, they texted, they called. So one of them, um, told my, my other sister, like, I feel that there is something strange because she always picks up the phone. Like when we have um, a prayer, like if, when it's prayer time, she always uh, answers the phone. She always um, responds. She always something, there is something fishy about this whole situation. So um, they started praying for me. Yeah, both of them started praying for me. They started praying, praying, and pray. they were praying hard. I didn't know they were praying for me. But around that time, something happened. I felt like a power, like a power that blew me, like, um, like, like, I didn't hear something. I didn't see heaven or hell. No, I just felt a power that blew blew me away and as i was coming back backwards i was coming backward i fell on my back then i woke up and that uh, i woke up at two o'clock two p.m two p.m and when i woke up i was like oh my god first of all i my, my flesh was very weak I couldn't uh, wake up. I could do something. I just opened my eyes, but I couldn't move. I couldn't move. I was 
still on my bed and I was very weak, couldn't move my leg or something. I was very heavy. My body was heavy and I was crying. I was crying hard. I was crying. I was like, oh my God, thank you for bringing me back. Thank you for giving me this uh, chance again to be alive. Thank you for your grace. And I was just crying because my main concern wasn't where I was going because I am a Christian, but my heart was sore because of my children, because they, they are too little. For those of you who are orphans, you know the pain of losing a parent, you know? I was like, no, my kids cannot, uh, they cannot lose me. They are really, really little. But when I came back, I was thankful. I was blessing God. I was praising him and I was crying. I was in disbelief. I couldn't believe I would come back because when I was there, I said, oh, then this is the end. This is the end of my life on earth. I'm beginning another experience. It's on the other side. So, um, when I woke up, I continue praying the same prayer I was doing in the, in the spirit. And as I was praying, God has began to teach me a lot of things that I'm going to share uh, with you right now. Because of the time, I will have to stop right here and make a, a second part of, uh, of this, uh, this experience. Now in this part, uh, I am only telling you what God revealed to me. Bye and see you soon.